I'm a beer hound. Ow! The love affair with beer. Uh, my name is John Vojtovich. I am the resident beer liberator with Shorts Brewing Company, and we're here at the uh, Grand Rapids Michigan Brewers Guild Winter Beer Festival. Uh, as you can see, we kind of went big this year in true Shorts fashion. Uh, we have to keep up in the ante, it seems, every time we attend one of these events. So uh, right over my right shoulder here, we have our GABF booth uh, that we feature this year at the Great American Beer Festival. And then this is the first time that we got to uh, debut it at a guild event, so we're pretty excited about that. Uh, we're pouring. 11 beers today on 22 different taps, so it's allowing us to be the most efficient uh, yet uh, at a fest, and we're ranging from a variety of our stouts uh, for the colder weather, and then uh, featuring some of our exclusive experimental beers. Looks like we already blew the Gambler, which we only had a six barrel of that, but uh, we really only brought that because of the request of so many people who were really looking forward to trying that at this event, and that was our tobacco-themed barrel-aged IPA. So uh, some of the other beers that will probably go pretty quick today uh, are some pub exclusive beers our juicy tree which is the uh, experimental IPA that we added blue spruce tips to cranberry and juniper berries uh, the taste that's gonna move you and uh, then we also brought our wintertime fun ale which is another pub exclusive beer which is an experimental brown with chocolate marshmallows peppermint and uh, forgetting cinnamon there you go so uh, just a bunch of different stuff to kind of uh, keep people excited about shorts uh, along with some of our classics to to, you know, remember that craft beer doesn't always have to be mind-blowing. It could just be great beer with traditional brewing ingredients. Um, one of the big uh, topics to date right now, at least people who are actively following shorts, is the potential for our Elk Rapids uh, tasting uh, pub, more or less. It, it won't be a part of our production facility, but we found a little spot right in downtown Elk Rapids uh, in their marina uh, on the Elk River right next to the dam that uh, used to be an old uh, mustard uh, production factory. So we really... Uh, took a shine into that facility. Uh, it went uh, back to the city a little while back after it was foreclosed on, and now the city is trying to decide what to do with the location. Uh, the original plan was to turn it into a park, uh, but we took interest in it and offered up the option of potentially making a tasting room there and allowing the city to collect taxes on it uh, from having you know another business in the community. Uh, right now, it's kind of in limbo because there's people on the, the board and the Harbor Commission that kind of have that park idea set in their minds as what they really want but the community is coming out in great force and really supporting this understanding the impact that you know a shorts tasting room could have on the community uh, creates jobs brings more people to the town and will probably also promote uh, future businesses in their vacant storefronts that are still in the downtown area 